These are the notes for 2.3. So we are doing just like we did in 2.1 and 2.2. We are solving an inequality. And then we are going to show the solution on the number line. But now we need to write an interval notation. So if we go back to the front page of our notes, we're going to talk about interval notation real quick. Um, an in interval notation is where we list the or, or name the endpoints of our graph or of our solution for an inequality. And it shows whether they are included or excluded from the actual solution solution if those numbers are our solutions. So I'm just going to write shows if the endpoints are included or excluded. Okay? So we'll we'll show that it's excluded if it's a parenthesis. So this means excluded. And we'll use that on the endpoint if it has a less than or, or greater than or less than symbol, okay? Um, because that that's where we leave the open circle, so you might want to list that. Open circle means you're going to use the parenthesis. Now we have this bracket if it is included. So we'll use it if we have greater than or equal to or less than or equal to because those are the, the closed circles, the filled in circles because those are included in the solution. Okay. Now, if it goes on and on forever and we've had solutions where you put the point and it goes forever to the right or forever to the left. So those go for infinity or a negative infinity. Negative infinity is to the left positive infinity to the right, we always use the parenthesis. Okay, so if it was negative infinity on the left, you'd put a negative uh, parenthesis, negative infinity. If it's on the right, it'd go on the right side. Okay, so now go back to that page <clears throat> and let's solve this inequality first. So, I like to divide so I make sure I w what changes I make when I move things from side to side that I do it on both sides of that line um, I must distribute this 4 first so I'm going to take 4 times x and get 4x and 4 times 3 and I get 12 my inequality symbol stays the same and over here I just had a negative 24 now I have a two-step problem the first step of a two-step problem is add or subtract a number well in this case I need to subtract 12 and I do that from both sides of that line. So those cancel and I have 4x. The inequality stays the same. And I now have negative 36. And then the second step of a two-step problem is multiply or divide. In this case, I need to divide by 4. So the 4s cancel, I have x. Now I divided by a positive. If I were to multiply or divide by a negative, this symbol would change but it was positive, so it's going to stay the same, and I get negative 9. So on my number line, I need to put a negative 9 somewhere, and then I can just put some other numbers. It, is not, it does not have that equal to sign, so it is just an open circle because it does not include the negative 9. And x is greater than, so it's going to the right. Okay, so now to write it in interval notation, I look at the left side of my graph first. Where does this graph or, or solution stop? It stops here at, to the, on the left side at negative 9. So I know negative 9 is the left side. The right side goes on for infinity. So I list the left, comma, the right. And then I decide if it's bracket or parentheses. Well, infinity, I said, is always parentheses. And it is negative 9 not included, so it's also getting a parenthesis. Okay, so that is the interval notation for this, this inequality. Now, if I were to give you this, you'll get good enough at these interval notations, hopefully, that you'll be able to just draw, draw this graph based on that information. Okay, so let's solve this one. 
Okay, I still have an x here, but now I have to distribute the negative 3 to both the x and the plus 2. Make sure to distribute the negative with it. So I have negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and I have a negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6. I didn't move anything from left to right, so I'm definitely leaving that symbol the same, and I have the 4 over there. Now on this left side, I have an x and a negative 3, so I'm going to combine like terms. And it's 1x minus 3x would be a negative 2x. I still have a negative 6. Leave my symbol the same. It's 4. Now I have a two-step problem. Add or subtract first. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. I get negative 2x. Leave my symbol the same. And I have 10. Now I divide by negative 2. On this side, I have x but I divided by a negative. So I have to flip my symbol, and this is negative five. Okay, so at negative five, I'm putting a point, oof, I can't count, um, negative six, negative seven. All right, it's open circle, because that does not have the, it's not less than or equal to, it just says less than, so we're gonna open circle, and x is less than, so it goes to the left. Now, for interval notation, I look at what the left side of my graph is doing, and it goes on to negative infinity. The right side stops at negative 5. Okay, parentheses for infinity always, and then it does not include 5, so it's also a parenthesis. So on number 3, I still have a 7x, but I need need to distribute the negative 2 to both things inside that parenthesis. So I'm going to get a negative 2x plus 8, because negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Leave your symbol the same, and you still have negative 2. Now I have some like terms again. So that gives me a 5x plus 8, less than or equal to negative 2. And I do my two-step equation. I'm going to subtract 8, 5x negative 10, divide by 5, x, I divided by a positive, so I leave my symbol the same, it's negative 2. So at negative 2, I'm going to put a circle, and it does say less than or equal to. It has that line underneath, means I fill in my circle. And it's less than, so it goes to the left. So when doing interval notation, I look at the left side, side goes to negative infinity. The right side stops at negative 2. Infinity always gets a parenthesis, but this does include negative 2, so I need to put a bracket instead of another parenthesis. And then for the practice for 2.3, you're going to finish the next six problems. You're going to do 4 through 10 to complete 2.3.